This is Karachi, a city of more than 19 million people. It is the world's seventh largest metropolis. It's the financial hub of Pakistan, generating 60% of the nation's revenue. And as the only coastal city, Karachi is Pakistan's gateway to the world. Yet Karachi began as a small fishing village. It was as recently as 1847 when the British set up a military post here that Karachi became a city. After independence in 1947, Karachi absorbed a huge influx of refugees from India and began growing into what it is today. City character has since changed drastically. Roads built for horse carts and pedestrians are now congested with motorized traffic. If you look at some of those buildings, they are beautiful buildings. If there was an overpass or an elevated expressway running in front of it, it would destroy the entire visage of the building and uh, one would weep for a Karachi that did all of this. Developments without the benefit of a master plan have led to haphazard construction and infrastructure. With focus on bridges and roads, the commuters benefiting are the ones who can afford a private vehicle. Economic development has suffered and communities are being eroded. Today, Karachi deals with congested roads, traffic bottlenecks, water drainage issues and pollution. These factors make living in Karachi very difficult. Yet, 22 million people call Karachi home. With more people migrating here each year, getting around is a challenge. Around 24 million trips are made every day. 80% of travellers are students, workers or office goers suffering long journeys from outer settlements to urban centres. Demand for transportation will only increase as Karachi's population is estimated to increase to 27.7 million in 2020 and 31.6 million by 2030. Cars and motorcycles account for 79% of the vehicles on Karachi's roads. Paratransit 15% and buses 5%. These buses end up carrying 56% of the commuters. Since 2008, the number of registered vehicles in the city has gone up from 2.1 million to 3.4 million, a 62% increase within five years. Around 85% of these registered vehicles are private cars and motorcycles. Given the lack of mass transit, Karachiites have invested in private vehicles. There is no other city or city in the metropolitan city where there is no BRT in the whole world. Basically, the smart traffic is that in one bus or in one car, there are many people in one car, not that many people in one car, but that many people in one car. Karachi Metropolitan Corporation in collaboration with the Japan International Corporation Agency, JICA, have carried out extensive studies for the best solution to Karachi's mass transit needs. The ADB's proposed plan aims to integrate all BRT corridors along with Karachi Circular Railway and is designed to provide quality infrastructure, vehicles and service in the direct service concept. So that passengers have one journey once they board the bus and don't have to change buses to benefit from the red line BRT. The resulting transit master plan includes six BRT lines. Yellow Line Under final award and financial close to Chinese consortium. Green Line 
finalized for tendering process under GOP funding. Blue Line, a private builder, has offered GOS built this line on PPP model. Red Line, a preliminary design completed by ADB consultant in coordination with GOS. Orange Line, MOU was signed with Chinese firm, but due to tight financial liability, government decided to take up on turnkey basis. Brown Line, under consideration for rail mass transit by Chinese consortium, MOU signed. Currently, all lines are progressing without the benefit of a strong coordinating and integrating body to guide the development of a system rather than separate BRT lines. Integration should be between the infrastructure, its routes, operations, financial processes, information systems and branding. A good transit system must be integrated with existing transport and existing land use. The BRT Red Line will run between Safura Chow to Tower with many stations along the way. It follows a major artery of the city used by millions on their daily journey to work, schools, civic institutions, health and leisure. Typically a journey from Safura to Tower today takes 120 minutes. But with the new system in place, this time will be significantly reduced, less congestion and less stress. BRT buses will be modern, safe, comfortable and secure. This line, once completed, will provide services to 275,000 people daily and should be integrated with the Karachi Circular Railway. The aim is a vibrant corridor opening opportunities for community building, a cleaner and safer environment and thriving commercial activity. It would ensure equitable use of public spaces in a sustainable manner. A well-planned mass transit system in Karachi is necessary for the city. It is necessary for the city. It is necessary for the city. It is necessary for the city. उसकी जरूरत बढ़ती जा रही है सड़कों पे गाड़ियों का रश कम करने के लिए डीजल पेट्रोल का खर्चा कम करने के लिए वक्त बचाने के लिए पार्किंग के इश्यूज को अटेंड करने के लिए और लोगों के लिए एक आसान डिग्निफाइड अगर ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम होगा तो लोगों के लिए आना जाना आसान होगा जैसे बैरून मुल्क होता है ओवरऑल मैं समझता हूँ ये न सिर्फ पोल्यूशन दूर करेगा बल्कि क्राइम को कम करने में मदद देगी कराची पाकिस्तान का सबसे बड़ा शहर है लोग पा कराची को पाकिस्तान भी कहते हैं लोग माश की तलाश में आते हैं रहने के लिए आते हैं और जो रहना शुरू कर देते हैं तो उनका दिल बहुत लग जाता है बच्चों का दिल लग जाता है वो शहर छोड़ने को तैयार नहीं होते लिहाजा इस शहर पे इन्वेस्ट करने की ज़रूरत है